Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is looking at how to create a Google form to be used to collect information um, and then you can take that information and put it into say Microsoft Excel and begin working with it if you want to. So to make this form I'm going to go to uh, probably start off with going to my email and then I'll go to Google Docs and then your Google Docs will open up. Once it does that click on the create button here and then go down to form. And this is what it will look like when you open up a new form. It just kind of has some basic stuff here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make two questions for you to show you how to do it. For these questions, I'm just collecting uh, numbers, data, like, uh, yeah, just numbers. So I'll make these pretty simple. And you can put a help text here if you wanted to make it so that the question was more clear in case it was confusing. And then I'm going to leave this question type uh, alone as text is fine. And then I'm going to make my question required to make sure people actually have to answer the question when they do the survey. And I'll click done. Let's do another question here. So this sample question pops up. I'll click the pencil over here to edit it. We'll say, and then again, pretty self-explanatory question. So I don't need help text. I'll leave this alone. I'll make it mandatory and hit done. If I wanted to add more questions other than these two, I would go up here to add item and click on text or a different kind of question if I wanted a different kind of question. And now, now uh, I'll give it a name. We'll call this uh, questionnaire. And then, of course, if I wanted to, I could talk about, describe it here if I want to, but I don't want to. So over here under more actions, I have the option of embedding this form onto my website. So I'm going to embed it. Now this gives you the HTML, which is which is fine. We can use the HTML. So I'm going to copy that for now. I'll show you how that comes into use here in just a second. And then you're going to want to go to your Google site uh, to which you're going to be publishing this document. So I already have mine open. And what I'm going to do is click the edit button. Once your editor loads, uh, we have two options what we can do here. The first option, uh, go over here to insert. And down here we have a spreadsheet form. Now assuming that your Google account for, with which you use to create the questionnaire is the same account under which you have the website, it will automatically go to forms and your questionnaire that you made will be right here. So you can click that and hit select down here at the bottom. Now if it was a, a different website, say this didn't come up because you have a different website under a different account, this won't be here. So what I could do instead of doing this, well here let me show you what, I'll show you what it looks like with that. You can change the the title and the size and stuff if you want to. And I'll save it and then the uh, it comes up like that so people can type into your Google form and submit their answers. Now let's look at the HTML really quick just in case you're curious. I'll put the HTML in this other box that's over right over here. So to do HTML in Google Sites there's an HTML button right here. And I'm not some kind of professional HTML but uh, I'm just going to stick my that code that I copied earlier right here and hit update. And then I will save it. And then I have my form in HTML version or in just the insert form version right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill out this a couple times so you can see how it collects the data. We'll say that I'm 30 years old and I watch uh, 10 hours of TV daily. And now I'm just uh, because I want a few answers, I'm going to submit another response here. I'll say I'm 25 and 2, 1 and 0. And we'll do 80 and 10, 15. Okay, so now that I'm done filling out these forms, I can close out my uh, site. I don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to go back to my, my form. I didn't close this earlier, my form, so I could, if I wanted to, uh, check out my responses in a summary or a spreadsheet. I'm going to do a spreadsheet because it lays it out really nice for you. And then I, what it does for you is it, it timestamps the entries. It has your how old you are for the people right here, and then how many hours of TV you watch daily. So you can imagine if you had more questions, they would come over here, and then if you had more people answering it, it would just kind of fill down this way. So it puts the it organizes the information really nice for you. And also, if you want to, you could highlight this information and copy and paste it into a Microsoft Excel sheet, and then beginning uh, begin adding formulas if you want to make certain tabulations and stuff. Now, just in case, uh, earlier I clicked on that button, or I came back to that form, and I clicked on to view the, the uh, results of it. Let's say that wasn't there, uh, this part. Let's say this part wasn't here when I came back, and I just have my Google Docs open. If I click on questionnaire right here, 
it's automatically going to take me to the results, which is nice. And of course, if I want to, I can go back and edit the original form if I want to. And uh, that is it.